But we got to remember, you did the right thing. You're looking at some fine 6 over 4 plus radical 2. We cannot have a root on the bottom. All right, so are the radical on the bottom because it's an, uh, um, an irrational number. Mm -hmm. So we have to get it off the bottom. Well, there's a couple things to look at. If you, what we're going to want to do is actually multiply by 4 minus the square root of 2. All right, and here's just to double check our work. You multiply by 4 plus the square root of 2. So if I was to do that, all right, and if I was going to use, you know, my FOIL, what I would get is 16 plus 2 radical 2 plus 2. So even though I'm multiplying by 4 plus um, radical 2 times 4 plus radical 2, you're going to get, so you're still going to have a radical on the bottom. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we have to mul multiply by the conjugate, which you can see is going to be a difference of two squares. And whenever you multiply on the bottom, you have to make sure you multiply on the top, which you showed. All right, so mm -hmm. now when I do 4 plus radical 2 times 4 minus radical 2, I have the same two first numbers and I have the same two last numbers. I don't need to use um, all my FOIL because this is a difference of two squares. So what I notice is, and you know, actually, I'll just show you so you can see it. Um, that's actually 8. My bad. Not 2 radical 2, that's actually 8 radical 2. Mm -hmm. But, um, Let's just take a look. Let's multiply them. 4 times 4 is going to give you 16. All right. Um, then 4 times negative radical 2 is going to give me plus 4 radical 2 minus 4 radical 2. Um, when you do the outsides, 4 times negative radical 2 is a negative 4 radical 2. The inner is 4 times radical 2. All right. And then radical 2 times radical 2 is going to give you a negative 2. Well, what you notice now is what happens to your inner terms. They now have done what? 4 radical 2 minus oh, 4 radical 2. They've canceled out. So now I'm just left with 16 minus 2. Mm -hmm. You see that? See the big difference? Yeah. Here, when you multiply them out, you're adding a positive plus a positive. So you're still going to have that 8 radical. You're still going to have your radical on the bottom. That's why you have to multiply. Your, the conjugate is the exact same term, but now it's going to be subtraction. The reason why it's subtraction is so you can cancel them out. Okay. All right? So... I just did this, and then we needed to apply distributive property up top. So we'll get 24 minus 6 radical 2 over um, 14. All right. Then we look at this and we say, all right, can we simplify this at all? And we can actually divide everything by 2, and I get 12 minus 3 over 7 radical 2. And then that would be our final answer. And we can divide by our regular integer, and that's cool. All right. Mm -hmm. So the main important thing is to understanding um, you, when you multiply by the conjugate, you have to have a po your positive and your negative because you're going to cancel them out. Gotcha. Cool.